This cocktail is a little bit sweet, spice, and everything nice. Let me show you how to make a Newton's Law. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making a Newton's Law, which is a really, really tasty fall-style cocktail that leans in to delicious apple notes and the bit of spiciness you get from bourbon. And this is a really nice cocktail, but it really does require one key ingredient to make it work, apple butter. Now this here is store-bought, you can make your own, I saw recipes online. They do require a bit of work, but it does look like it comes out with something else. This here is apple butter. Well, this here is Irish, it's called black butter because when you see it, it is super dense. It is so tasty. It is made with like uh, cooked down apples, apple cider, molasses, and a bunch of spices. Now, I will say real quick, a bunch of recipes I saw online for making this cocktail, people said to use like two or even two and a half to three teaspoons of apple butter. I cannot imagine using that much in a cocktail because it's so sweet, but maybe the version of apple butter they were using wasn't that sweet, or maybe it was like a homemade version. So it wasn't super sweet, but this here is very, very sweet, very, very concentrated. So I'm only gonna be using one teaspoon of it, but depending on the apple butter you use, you might need to use a little bit more or a little bit less. For the rest of the ingredients, it's very, very simple. We're gonna start off with bourbon whiskey. This is American bourbon whiskey. This is Buffalo Trace. Very classic, very tasty, nice little whiskey. Not super oaky, not super sweet. Nicely middle of the road. If you wanna see a review of this uh, whiskey, myself and my wife Rose did a review this week. I'll put a link to that up there. There'll be a link down below, because it's a very nice little whiskey and it does work well in cocktails where you want that bit of spice, bit of cinnamon, bit of bourbon flavors without it being the only thing you can taste. Next up, we've also got a little bit of brown sugar syrup, just to add a bit of extra sweetness, because if I use so much of this, the apple flavor would take over, so I wanted something else that would add a bit of sweetness to not overpower everything with just apple flavor. Then we've got some freshly squeezed lemon juice, which is gonna give us a nice bit of flavor, a nice bit of like citrusy zing. And that's all there is to it, so I think we're gonna get ready to make our cocktail. We're gonna shake it up just to mix everything nice and properly, so we're gonna get our shaker tin and pop a nice rock of ice in there before we measure out our ingredients. Starting off with our bourbon, you can use whatever bourbon you want. I'm using this here, Buffalo Trace. And I'm gonna go in with 60 ml or two ounces of our Buffalo Trace into there, into our cocktail shaker. And then we're gonna go in with 20 ml of lemon juice. This is gonna give us like an apple pie when you make lemons, when you make an apple pie, you add a little bit of lemon juice and it does help all the other flavors kind of sing. It does help them kind of come up to the front. So 20 ml of that. And then like I said, just a little bit of, this is just a one-to-one -one brown sugar syrup, just a little bit of it, just 10 ml of it, just two teaspoons of it just to add a little bit of extra sweetness without adding so much of the cinnamon and spices from this apple butter, that's the only thing you can taste. Speaking of our apple butter, we're gonna go in with one, I'll say healthy, but with the amount of sugar that's in here, it's probably not healthy, but I'll say one good, like, overflowing teaspoon of apple butter into there. I'm just gonna give this a quick little mix, make sure I get all that lovely apple butter off my spoon and into the cocktail shaker. Just like that. Oh, that is so tasty, but so, so sweet. I cannot, like I said, imagine using so much of that because it'll be the only thing you can taste. So I'm gonna pop the lid on the cocktail shaker and shake it down for about 20 seconds just to get everything nicely mixed. Okay, I think that is nicely mixed now. So we're gonna bang the top off our cocktail shaker and get ready to strain it out. We're gonna be straining it onto ice. We've got a nice rocks glass here. I'm gonna pop another rock of ice in there before we strain it out. Just plain and simple, just on top of it. Ooh, you can see that nice, dense, rich cocktail coming through, just like that. But we're not fully finished. We are gonna garnish it with two things. First off, a little piece of a lemon peel, just express the oils over the top, give us a little bit more of that kind of citrusy flavor, pop it over the edge, and then a little bit of cinnamon. So this is just like plain old store-bought cinnamon, just a little sprinkle of it. Not even gonna sprinkle it onto the cocktail, just gonna put a little bit into our hands so we don't overpower it. 
and just a little bit onto the ice just to give us that little extra bit of spice when we go up to drink it. So that right there is how I make a Newton's Law. Now real quick before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whiskey reviews like the review of that Buffalo Trace every Wednesday and I put out cocktail recipes like this featuring whiskey every Friday. So if you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe. But right now, let's taste this cocktail. Oh, that is lovely. Like, you get the lemon up front, you get the bourbon behind it, and then underneath it all, as you swallow, you get that nice, rich, spiced apple butter flavor coming through. Like I said, maybe it's like the amount of spice in here. I can't imagine using so much of that because there's a really nice dense flavor there, but it doesn't fight against the bourbon, it doesn't fight against the lemon. It just adds a really nice hit of flavor to it without being the only thing you can taste. And don't get me wrong, that stuff is so nice. If that was the only thing you wanted to taste, I would understand it. But for me, I love whiskey, so I do want to be able to taste the bourbon. And that comes through. You get the cinnamon, you get the oak spice, you get all that flavor coming through. But again, it's working with all the cocktail ingredients, like the little bit of brown sugar. It doesn't stand out as an ingredient to itself. It just kind of adds a bit of extra sweetness to keep everything balanced. The lemon juice has a little bit of a pop. It helps everything have that little bit of a pop. Just to add that bit of extra kind of zing to the cocktail with again, not fighting with the other ingredients. So this here is very, very nice. Also the little bit of cinnamon on top. It's not something that you'd really notice, but as you bring it up, you get that bit of extra spice. You get that bit of extra like cinnamon baking spice flavor that let you know what you're in for. So I'm gonna keep on enjoying this and I will see you next time. Sláinte.